Hi, today is、uh, Monday, June twenty third, twenty fourth. Tomorrow is our payday. So,、uh, but before that, I would like to read a very strange article,、uh, rather interesting. It affects all the men, including myself. So let's find out what's wrong with our penis. So this article is from、uh, interesting engineering. I think it's、uh, more like an Indian uh, uh, website.、Uh, microplastics found in penises, erectile dysfunction alarm raised. The researchers suspect that microplastics could lead to smooth muscle dysfunction in the penis. Really. This article was updated on June twentieth, twenty twenty-four. So it's、uh, about four days old article. The author is Aman Tripathi. Right, the honey wagon is near me.、Uh, they are trying to uh, collect the uh, uh, turd from the、uh, what we call a septic tank. Mm-hmm. Septic tank, but still I don't smell any shit,、uh, so that's good.、Uh, microplastics have infiltrated even the most intimate parts of the human body. Shuvo Shuvet Loza Kurisotov, that's a stock image. In the new study, scientists have found microplastics (MPs) in a human penis tissue. For the first time, it raises questions about how MPs might affect male sexual health, including erectile dysfunction. I don't know why they use the、uh, MP microplastics.、Uh, recent preliminary studies indicate that MPs can impact fertility and sperm quality, thus threatening reproductive success. Highlighted the study, notably sperm counts in men have been declining for decades. Prior studies in mice have already linked microplastics to reduced sperm count, abnormalities, and hormone disruption. Now, this new finding adds to the growing evidence of the widespread presence of microplastics. And their potential risks, including causing t- erectile dysfunction. This can include live sperm count reduction and micromorphological abnormalities. Various microplastics in penile tissue. The research, led by Dr. Ranjith Rama Sami at the University of Miami, examined tissue samples. From five men undergoing surgery for erectile dysfunction, microplastics were found in four of the five samples. Researchers found seven different types of microplastics in the penile tissue. The most common ones were polyethylene terephthalate (PET) and polypropylene. Commonly used in food and drink packaging, the researchers believe that the increased blood flow during erections might make it easier for microplastics circulating in the body to build up in the penis. Microplastics are everywhere.、Uh, microplastics defined as plastic fragments. Less than five millimeters in diameter、hmm, have become ubiquitous environmental pollutants. Ubiquitous environmental pollutants. They originate from the breakdown of larger plastic items. MPs have infiltrated atmospheric, freshwater, and terrestrial ecosystems, penetrating. Uh, commonplace consumables like seafood, sea salt, and bottled beverages. The study says, past studies have shown that a single liter of bottled water 
can contain a staggering 240,000 tiny pieces of plastic. Humans ingest these tiny particles through eating, drinking, and breathing, and they have already been detected in human blood. MPs have also been found in human semen and testes. What is testes? Sounds like testicles, but testes, right? Semen and testes. Besides, the presence of microplastics in the body have been linked to various health problems. Although the full impact on health remains unknown, laboratory, laboratory or laboratory studies have shown that microplastics can damage human cells, cause tissue inflammation, and they even increase the risk of stroke and heart attack. More research is crucial. However, one must note that study does not establish a direct cause and effect relationship between microplastic presence and erectile dysfunction. But it does offer valuable insights that enrich the ongoing discussions on the intricate interactions between microplastics and human tissues. The detection of MPs in penile tissue opens a novel avenue for understanding the environmental impact on, uh, microplast uh, on sexual health raising questions about the sources, pathways, and potential consequences of MP exposure on erectile dysfunction, concluded the study. The study authors emphasized the need for more research to understand how microplastics interact with the human body and what effects, what effects they might have on health especially male sexual and reproductive health. Male sexual and reproductive health. I wonder if the vagina also has microplastics affecting their desire not to have sex, right? Women says headache, tiredness, not the right time, or too much animals and so on mm -hmm. so uh, it's a rather short article uh, but the, uh, it, the the fact is that microplastics MPs were found uh, in the penises of the uh, erectile dysfunction of people uh, and the common MP uh, is the uh, PET and the uh, uh, wrapping around uh, food wrapping, so that's quite predictable, understandable, and, and this was just plain article. Thanks for your article. Uh, I learned something about the MPs and the penile erectile dysfunction.